CIET NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page Number 118 Chapter Number 18 A House Like This My name is Naseem. I live in Srinagar. Since yesterday, there is lot of activity in our school. It will go on for a week. Do you know why? There is a camp being held in our school. Children have come from many places for the camp. Tents have been put up in the ground for everyone to stay. There is a picture given on page number 118. In this picture, a beautiful landscape is given and two tents are there in the ground. We have decorated the school beautifully. Some children have used pieces of cloth to make streamers for the doors. Some have made posters using almond shells while others have made rangolis using dry leaves and sawdust. Note, to show diversity in houses, examples from some places like Assam, Rajasthan, Delhi and hilly areas have been used. Children will understand the structure of these houses better if they are aware of the climatic conditions in which these houses are built. Page number 119 Today is the first day of the camp. We are very happy. In the morning, we all got together and sat down on the ground in a circle. Each of us introduced ourselves and spoke about where we came from and what we liked to eat. Children brought pictures of their families and their homes. Everyone spoke about their homes. Bhupen's group was the first to talk. Bhupen introduced himself and said, There is a picture given on page number 119. In this picture, there is a boy on the left side and on the right side of the picture, his beautiful wooden house is given. The boy is telling something about his house. What he said is written as text in the talking bubble. I have come from Molan village in Assam. It rains heavily in our place. Hence, our houses are made almost 10 to 12 feet above the ground. They are made on strong bamboo pillars. The insides of our houses are also made of wood. 1. Why are houses made on bamboo pillars where Bhupen lives? Write your answer in the space provided below. Page number 120 2. What kind of roofs do these houses have? Why are they made like this? Write your answer in the blank space given here. 3. How does one enter these houses? Write your answer in the space provided. 4. At night, the ladder is removed from these houses. Can you tell why? Write your answer in the blank space given here. Now, it was Chameli's turn. She said, There is a picture given on page number 120. In this picture, there is a girl on the right side and the picture of her beautiful house is given on the left side. There is snow around the house. The girl is telling something about her house. What she said is written as text in the talking bubble. I have come from Manali which is a hilly area. At our place, it rains heavily and snows as well. 
When it is very cold, we like to sit in the sun. Our houses are made of stone or wood. Page number 121. A. In which area is Jamili's house? Write your answer in the blank space given here. B. What is the similarity in the roofs of Jamili's and Bhupen's houses? Write your answer in the space provided here. C. How do roofs help in their areas? Write your answer in the blank space given here. Mitali and Anuj said, Mitali and Anuj have come from Delhi. They showed pictures of Delhi to everyone. In one picture, seeing very high buildings, Bhupin said, Oh, such tall houses! How do you climb up? There is a picture given on page number 121. This is the picture of a metro city. In this picture, some multi-storey buildings, some single-storey houses and some tent houses are given on the left and right side of the road. And a woman is carrying a few things in her hand. Look at these houses and find out if there are similar houses in your area also. Page number 122 How do people go up in multi-storied buildings? Write your answer in the space given here. New Delhi is the capital of India. People from villages and towns come to big cities like Delhi in search of work. These people often settle in the city. There are a large number of people living here and the space is less. Many people do not have houses at all. They have to live in slums. And many people do not have that either. People sleep wherever they find place. On the road, on the footpath, at the station. Indeed, shelter is a major problem in big cities. There is a picture given on page number 122. In this picture, a boy is there on the left and on the right side, a picture of a mud house is given. The boy is telling something about his house. What he said is given as text in the talking bubble. Kanshi Ram told everyone, I have come from Rajasthan. Rainfall is very scarce in our area. It is very hot too. We live in mud houses. The walls of the houses are very thick. These walls are plastered with mud. The roofs are made of thorny bushes. Note, while discussing problems faced by homeless people with the children, it is essential that it is done with great sensitivity. Page number 123 In the same way, all the groups spoke about their houses. After the introduction, a cultural program was held. The children performed various dances. They sang folk songs in their own languages. Everybody had kava with almonds and cardamom. We really enjoyed ourselves. In the evening, we all went to the Dull Lake. We saw a houseboat. We sat in a shikara. And some children moved the oars. We saw the Char Chinari surrounded by blue mountains. There is a picture given on page number 123. It is divided into two parts. On the left side, there is a picture of a beautiful lake surrounded by mountains. 
and on the right side, a floating houseboat is given. E. How is a houseboat different from other houses? Write your answer in the blank space provided here. B. Would you like to live in such a house? Why? Write your answer in the space provided here. Page number 124. Look at the pictures and match. There is a picture given on page number 124. This picture is divided into five parts. On the left side, each part has a picture of different types of houses people live in. And on the right side, names of those different houses are given, but not in the correct order. First picture given on the left side is of a house made with snow. Second picture is of a house floating on the water. Third picture is of a very high building. Fourth picture is of a house made with the help of cloth and ropes. Fifth one is of a house made with mud and bamboos. On the right hand side of the picture, there are five names given of the houses people live in. These names are not in the correct order. You have to match these names with the different pictures of houses given on the left hand side. The names given are Hut, House of Snow or Igloo, Tent, Houseboat, Multi-storied Building. Page number 125. Put a right tick on the names of things which your house is made of. There are 12 diagrams of same size and shape on page number 125. In each diagram, names of different things are given. These things are used in making different types of homes. Things given are grass, mud, wood, cement, canvas, iron, plastic, limestone, bamboo, bricks, glass, stone. Look at the houses in your neighborhood. What are they made of? Make a list and write your answer in the space provided. Collect samples of things that are used for making houses. 2. Let us make a brick. Knead some clay. Fill it in an empty matchbox and press. Take it out when dried. Your little brick is ready. Color your bricks. Write your name on them. Use all the bricks to make a colorful house. Decorate the roof of this house. Collect or draw pictures of different kinds of houses. Use these to make a beautiful chart. Display it in your classroom. Note, by collecting locally available materials, children will understand better about the materials used to construct houses.